Hey, what's up there, Joe's Pepper House members? Check this out. I do appreciate, I believe I got right at 50 subscribers and I don't have any content up yet. Awesome, thank you for the support. Some of you guys I know are coming from my barbecue channel over at Joe's Barbecue House. This here is a little intro to let you guys, my current subscribers to Joe's Pepper House, know that I am very new at growing. I've had a gardens in my past, but they were outside and I mean, they turned out good. I didn't really do much, but radishes, uh, lettuce, did some uh, cabbage and things like that. And it really wasn't in a, a really good spot because I didn't have full access to the sun. But here I decided that I want to do this indoors and I have a little spot behind me where I would like to grow hot peppers. And all kinds of peppers, you know, a little bit of mini bells and overwhelming information on what could be done in all this. Now, I'm not going to use soil. I want to go with the hydroponic style, like the deep water culture, do it the buckets. or. But I think I'm going to go with the 27-gallon totes, put a couple of net pots in there, and you know, see what I could come up with. I have an order sheet on Amazon. It's a lot easier for me to order on Amazon because it's just I can get everything shipped to my door. Uh, having to run out to the stores is just a pain. And they're, they're pretty high priced out here. That's why I'm just going to just go ahead and order it online. And it makes it a little bit easier for me. And it's it's not cheap to set up. But here, and I'll show you what, I'll show you what I want to do. And you tell me if I'm in the right direction. And trust me, I do know that there is many, many other ways I could do this to make the cost cheaper but this is the way I want to do it and be comfortable with. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and give you a view of my space, of what where I'm going to be growing at. And I'll be right back. All right. Well, here's the space I'm going to be working in. This is in my office. And I'll show you here that the distance between uh, where that co uh, corner is there to this corner here, that's eight and a half wide. Okay, and then if you come up from the ceiling to the floor, it's exactly 96 inches, which is eight foot. What I did is I ran a couple of flanges, one on this side here, and as you can see, the one over there, with some one inch uh, PVC pipe. This only measures about a foot and a half. So I came out some extra here, uh, just a hair over a foot, because I want at least 24 inches in between here. I might even come out a little farther, I'm not sure yet. I gotta wait and see when I get my curtains in. I'm getting some uh, white blackout curtains for this uh, job. This here is just a center post. Uh, it's it's not fastened to the floor. I just got it loose because I might just use Velcro to fasten that down because I'm really not sure. I might come up with a different way to support this. But I'm actually gonna use this PVC pipe for one to help brace that up there. When I get my curtains, my blackout curtains, they'll uh, meet here in the middle so I can have access to either side. What I was thinking of doing is getting those uh, 27 gallon totes and I could fit three of them with about a few inches on each side to spare and uh, put a couple of those uh, 10 inch uh, net pods in each one. So that gave me a total of six plants in this grow area. As far as the walls go, I got permission from the wife. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint, prime this all white and get like a mold resistant paint, white paint. And that'll be the reflective because my uh, the the blackout curtains, you know, that'll go that are coming out to here, those are also going to be white. So it should give me a really good reflective uh, part of that. My air pump that I'll be getting, I'll be uh, installing that in the basement because below us is the basement. And I believe I want to put the pump under there just to keep the noise uh, out of the main area. So I'm not sure how loud that pump's going to be. And I should get multiple pumps, like three, one pump with dual outlets per tote. But I'm just going to get one for now. It'll be plenty of power for doing this. I'll show you guys my uh, parts list and you guys can tell me why I'm failing. Because I don't have nothing right now. The only thing I have is a pH meter that I used for when I made my first batches uh, of hot sauce. And that was from Peppers from a buddy of mine that works with us, Mr. Kevin had given me some ghost peppers and all, all different types of peppers and made some sauces that were pretty good. 
So yeah, I'll go ahead and get you guys a, uh, a updated parts list and I'll just kind of let you guys, you know, I'll just scro scroll through it here real quick and you guys tell me what you think. It's pretty pricey, but you know what? I think it's pretty good stuff. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and show you my Amazon shopping cart for this build. Uh, and here we have the, um, it's just a digital timer, so you can plug it in on both ends. I'll end up probably putting it in a power strip and having my lights to it. Then over here, uh, I got the syringes for doing my measuring. I can use a few extra ones for some other hobbies that I do. Also got some uh, two-inch, um, this is that sewing hook where you put it on, like I'm going to put it on my blackout curtain so I could uh, fuse them together. I go with the magnets, but I can't seem to find anything that's seems to be good so i'm just going to use the velcro for now i'll probably end up changing the system up down the road i have plenty of room in my basement to do uh to upgrade so i just want to see how this is going to go first so here i have um 50 foot of that tubing for the air pump then here i got times three of these air stones that i want to try they're four inch bubblers i want to put two of them in each one i think they'll work out just fine then over here is the um, clay pebbles that I got. This is the medium I'm going to use. Uh, got me four totes. These are the 27 gallon totes that I'm going to use. Here, being at the price, you know, for $16.98, I do have a pH meter, but it doesn't hurt to have a spare on hand. Then I also got the TDS, so I could check my, you know, the PPMs and all that. Uh, just some markers for the plant, so I don't lose track. These are the curtains I'm going to go with. This here is one panel, as you can see right here. It's 12 and a half foot wide anyway, by eight foot. So this will work out perfect there. And my mother-in-law, she's gonna, this is showing two panels, but the one I'm getting will be a one solid panel. But she's gonna cut it in half for me and then put those Velcro, you know, for the seam. Cause I can't seem to find six foot wide panels two different panels for this project. I searched for hours and just couldn't find the right size. Uh, they might have had the same width, but they were either too long, too short, and I didn't feel like messing with it. My mother-in-law says she'll have no problem customizing these uh, curtains for me. Either way, uh, moving on down the line, uh, this is going to be my seed starter kit here where I'm going to have uh, these uh, extra strength trays here you know 32 cells they come with the rock wool and all that these are the uh, uh the heating pad for it you know where you can adjust it and all that it does the measurements do match they it will fit this model for the rock wool cubes that i want to use so here's the lighting i'm going to go with it's just hydro planet these t5 basically workshop bulbs uh, it has a spot where you can interlink them and uh, it's got switches to where you could turn this actual fixture off and another switch for um, turning off the other one that I installed to it which is pretty cool but I'll have them all on a switch anyway they'll all be on timers uh, they're well $109 a piece and they they measure out at around uh, what were they they were well 48 by 20 uh, 22 I want to say inches wide so they'll be fine for the space that I'm working in it does say it comes with those adjustable rope clips or whatnot uh, I just went ahead and ordered some more of them you know, $8.99 guess you know uh, figure out some I'm sure I'll use them in a different project uh, here I got the uh, pH up pH down moving on down I got some CalMag here's the um, the Flora products here the series as a lot of you know about, seems like for me as a beginner, this here would be a you know good set to go with. And here are the the net pots that I'm going to go with. I'm going to get as you can see here six of these. I'll have two in each one of them totes, like I mentioned earlier. And here's the pump I'm going to go with. It's a 1,750 gallon per hour pump. Yeah, it might be a little overkill. It has 12 outlets here, and each outlet has an adjuster, so I can actually turn it off if I'm not going to be using them. And it would just be for later when I go to upgrade. And really, for 55 bucks for a pump like this, to me, I don't think it's that bad of a price, considering all you could do, especially when I go to upgrade down the basement. 
and then here in the office could just be like my seed starters uh, area where I'm building right now. Okay, and the last thing here is uh, just an indoor outdoor temp thingy, you know, so I could just monitor inside this little room. I could put this outdoor sensor on one side and put this on the other side and kind of keep track of what's going on there. Don't worry about this. This is what I was going to go with. Okay, what I'm going to end up doing is I was going to buy this two foot T5 grow light system for the um, the germination station here along with this heat mat. And unfortunately, it looks like it's unavailable. It was unavailable. It was available at the time, but uh, apparently not now. And so I'm still thinking I'm because I got these extra ropes here. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. Um, the standard two foot or maybe even one more of these. What do you guys think? Should I just buy one more of these and set it up in a different part of my office to start my germination? And what do you think? But anyway, guys, you can see here the price is $847 and 73 cents. And like I said, I know there's probably other cheaper alternatives I could go, but I really would like for you guys to tell me your thoughts on this setup here. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts on this build process. And, you know, I can make some changes or whatnot. Let me know what you think I should get out of there or add to the list. Uh, just let me know how you think I'm doing so far. But anyway, guys, as you can see here, on this whole back wall, I have a line, the whole line of uh, the hot sauces from Pepper Joe. I also have these two here that are from the Way Hot Sauce Company. But either way, the, oh, these here in the center, I had gotten from um, the Flame and Ferret. Uh, these are from the Flame and Ferret. They're from uh, our local local grocery store. That I just wanted to try out. Got a lot of tastes, a lot of samplings to do here. Then of course I got my own. I like to compare to. But either way, guys, let me know your thoughts on all this. Thanks for joining, and have a great day.